Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Mirror Recruitment Series. And before we get into the first game of this episode, we're going to take a look at the calendar and look at the teams we still have to face in those last six games of the season. And actually, all of those teams are pretty much in the bottom table. I think Bournemouth might be like at the bottom of the first half. But now we take a look at a fixture and there's a very interesting date. It's going to be the 23rd of April. And there's a huge game for us, which we don't play in. But the top two teams in front of us are gonna play in there. Fulham versus Norwich. And that's just great because they're gonna take points off from each other. Either Norwich is gonna take points from Fulham or Fulham from Norwich. Preferably, uh, it would be actually it would be more beneficial to us if Norwich would lose this game because as you can see they're only one point in front of us and Fulham are actually five points in front of us. So, if we keep on winning and Norwich lose the game against Fulham, we are, we are in very good position and we have a destiny in our own hand. Um, if uh, we can take this two-point lead on Norwich. And yeah, right here, Briggs gets the first chance of the game by a rather weak shot. There now, Jordan Ibe with some nice dribbling moves and a nice ball roll right here. Pass it to Benzia, Benzia shoots it and it's actually deflected by Marzouk and it goes just wide. Uh, pretty unlucky there. And uh, now after that Brighton actually uh, got some chances for luckily with the save there. And uh, now they are back up front with Bullock who, uh, whose shot wasn't really that great to be honest for it actually managed to catch that. And now Akbuguma takes the ball, but uh, takes the ball off from the attacker. But unfortunately, they somehow get a ball, but luckily they missed that one wide too. And after that, not much was happening. The best chance I could really show you uh, was here in the 61st minute, and that was a pretty weak shot. But after that, the game kind of got going. Uh, at least for Brighton, we definitely uh, weren't playing at a high level at this game, especially in the second half. Finally, Donza gets a nice chance here by uh, playing into Benzia, who should have gotten at least a free kick there and maybe a red card. But yeah, luckily for them, the ref didn't blow his whistle. Now, Shawnee Williams with a nice shot, pretty much the best shot in the second half for us at the, uh, until this point. And yeah, that one actually went uh, just narrowly wide. Now, Benzia tries to play to Marzouk, and if that pass uh, would have gone through, that would have been a sure goal. But. Since it didn't go through, it is nil-nil. Very tough draw, to be honest. We didn't play very good at all, and only drawing uh, really doesn't benefit us because, as you can see, we are now three points behind Norwich because they won the last game. And yeah, against a 21st place team, being a third place team, you would definitely expect a win, even though it is on the road. Now, if we somehow get a chance uh, here after a double shot or whatever that was. And now Ulchik plays with Benzia, who keeps the ball there and tries to uh, shoot it uh, in, or tries to finish that, and the goalie saves it there. Now Benzia again with the ball, it's nice dribbling, passes it to Donza, and Donza gets through, shoots it, and luckily that one goes in. And yeah, it was actually a pretty weird goal. You're gonna see it in the second in the replay. Yeah, Donza with a uh, nice move gets past the defender. Not really a special move or anything, but you can see. That it actually hit the goalie uh, at his foot. I don't know if he didn't see the ball because the defender was in front of him. But we were we were actually very lucky scoring this goal. And Ipswich definitely were not a bad opponent. They got some chances of their own, as he, as you can see here with a nice header by their beast up front. I don't know who that is, uh, but he is huge, and he's pretty much won every header. And yeah, that that was obviously a big. Uh, scoring threat and now right there a corner w which was very dangerous actually and definitely definitely uh, made my heart, heart uh, skip a beat now old chick unfortunately can't control the ball uh, good enough to get a good shot on the goal there and now they again play it in with a uh, with a cross and again that uh, Nubel guy I think yeah Nubel I think it is um, with a nice head and now Beavers right there first he should have played it with his head try, try to do it with his foot and then he tried to uh, clear it with his head where he should have played it with his foot uh, go back and look at it it was actually a pretty weird situation but luckily they don't score off of that now again a dangerous corner and Ford saves that and actually saves the ball 
uh, clearly. After that, uh, and luckily we managed to hang on to his lead. We're really not playing our best football right now. Haven't played that great in the last episode, uh, if you ask me. And we're having a huge dip in form. Benzi is not scoring, which is pretty bad. I think he hasn't scored in a couple episodes now, which is very concerning. And uh, we are still three points behind Norwich, so they're just they just don't want to lose a game, it seems like. So now we're playing Watford away from home, also not one of the greatest teams in the league, I think also bottom half of the table. But right there to get a nice chance, Briggs can't clear it and Ford is luckily there to save it with his foot and only conceding a corner instead of a goal. But Watford actually got the better chances at uh, first or at the beginning of the first half, as you can see in the 13th minute, also very dangerous shot and now Nabi plays it through the Dons after... Uh, he passed it to him. Now Mazuku with a nice shot fail, gets past the defender, but unfortunately his shot is blocked. And that was pretty much our first somewhat good chance of the game. And now Castelletto gets the ball here, tries to clear it, and look how fast it comes back. Paradis uh, plays it to uh, Igalo, I think that is. I don't know, some, some of these names are really hard, but luckily uh, we managed to clear that situation. And now Abdi with a nice shot there and it actually goes in in the 34th minute. Very unfortunate, nice passing football by them. But uh, also some pretty terrible defending and... The defending also has been a big concern, not only offensively we're not playing at our normal form, but also uh, defensively. And now I decided to bring on Fuller for Mazuk as you can see right there. And we were getting very desperate, now Akpaguma with a uh, with cross and Fuller with a beautiful header equalized this game finally and we just didn't get anything going it was just, just some terrible football by us uh, we just ran into a wall especially after the one nil they were pretty much impossible to beat at least for us on this day and in that in, in that form we are in and there to get a very dangerous header and luckily that one hit the post and didn't go in and after that they were offside but actually we had another chance just before the game ended now Benzer tr again tries to cross it there and pull out with a nice header but it was too far out not enough power to do anything dangerous so we draw against Watford really not helping us at all and yeah two draws and one win pretty bad episode for us we Definitely needed to win all those three games. Now we're gonna take a look at how the game Fulham versus Norwich ended. And Norwich actually won the game. And that is obviously not very helpful at all. It looks like we're gonna play uh, in the playoffs. I mean, we're, we had 100% in the playoffs, but actually, Fulham is only four points in front of us, so it could be. Uh, it could actually be interesting in the end. We might actually surpass Fulham. But yeah, next episode is going to be the last three games of this season. And we're going to see whether we're going to be directly promoted. Or if we're going to have to go through the playoffs. And oh my, if we go through the playoffs, that's just it's just going to be tough for my heart. Let's put it like that. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more Mirror Cream Mode and support the series. Tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.